Welcome back as we join you with breaking news here on Star News. Report of a deceased individual found this morning on Moss Street in the city of Martinsville. Our own Charles Rourke has been out to that scene. And Charles, uh, what can you tell us about what's going on right now? Right now, we're seeing our first pictures uh, that we've been able to bring to scene. I can tell you the police are putting the sheets up, not because they're getting ready to take the body up. Apparently, a portion of the body can be seen from the door. And obviously with the media getting there and uh, so many spectators arriving there on the scene, um, they are now um, trying to protect the integrity of the body and so forth as they continue their investigation. Apparently they found a body at this location at around 8 o'clock uh, this morning. Uh, apparently got tipped off some way, somehow. We will uh, be talking with the officials here in a few, few moments about uh, what they know at this hour. They are uh, finding out about this kind of like the public is. Uh, and they are uh, they broke off the, the whole entire road. So if you... If you need to travel through Moss Street, you probably need to find a way to get through there. You're going to have to probably walk past you know, the, the barricades so right now, to get in. Uh, but so right now, they're in this Let's listen to the officials. received a call down here of someone injured. Uh, once they got here, we found uh, in it's, uh, 106, apartment 1, we found the body of a black male. He is deceased at this time. I don't know any calls or anything. Our investigators were getting ready to work the crime scene at this time. Okay. I mean, does the, the body look shot? I mean, the, the... Well, like I say, right now, I haven't even been in myself. Okay. And, you know, we're trying to maintain the integrity of the crime scene. Mm -hmm. So once they get here, we execute our search warrant, we'll be able to know some more and maybe do a further release later today. Right. They're putting the sheets up. Are they taking, anybody taking the body out? What, what, what's that? I know. We, we put those up because right there... They, we're trying to, like I say, preserve the crime scene. The door was open, mm -hmm. and the body is in view of the street. And we're just trying okay. to keep it, okay. you know. And what, like I say, once we're able to make a positive identification and go from there, I'll be able to give you a release. All right. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Sure. So, all right. Uh, there you can see uh, Eddie Cassidy there. He had not, had not even been in the house yet. Uh, he was. Uh, he did came and talked to us briefly, to which we do appreciate. Uh, he said that they have to have more information as the day progresses. And as the investigation continues, I can tell you that have law enforcement officers talking with neighbors and so forth, trying to get information, trying to create conversations and so forth. Coming up here in the next few moments, some interesting video, um, a Hispanic male that, that they talked with. And, and right now we're looking at a close shot in on the, um, on the balcony there where um, the main part of the investigation continues. Apparently the body is within inside that door there, and, and they are... Uh, doing the procedures and so forth. There were some extra law enforcement that, that made their arrivals when we were there <coughs> on Moss Street. We'll be uh, uncovering that here in the next few moments. But uh, as you can see, the streets pretty well were roped off in kind of a triangular pattern to keep the public from um, interrupting the crime scene. Uh, a lot of spectators there today. You'll see uh, at least uh, 25 of the folks that they're watching on. And, it, and, of course, it's kind of like a comment gallery. A lot of the folks had different comments and so forth. Uh, some people were saying, hey, um, who's a snitch here? You know, who's going to snitch, that kind of thing. That, that was kind of the, the, the talk going on back there. And, and, of course, just a lot of curiosity uh, from the neighbors and so forth. Um, they did give me a name. Of course, we won't release that until the police officially give that to us. Uh, apparently, a lot of people in the neighborhood knew who he was. Um, and then there was some talk, and this is just talk that we're getting from the neighbors, that, he, that, that, that it might have happened at 2 a.m. We haven't been able to verify that. The police hadn't been able to verify that. They're just asking a lot of questions right now. But you can see the neighbors are doing a lot of talking, and the police are doing a lot of talking with the neighbors. It's got you know, these next few hours are the most important part of the case where they can reel in information from people that might know something before they clam up. When we got there, you can see the more officers arriving there on scene, coming with the cars with the lights on um, as they uh, went through the barricade. Uh, you can tell this uh, investigation is being put together uh, minute by minute. Uh, there you can see coming with with information and so forth. And what's getting ready to happen next is pretty interesting. Um, you can see them talking with the neighbors, trying to be friendly with the neighbors, trying to keep keep, keep the information flowing, and also getting the, getting the police vehicle inside the, the parameters there. You can see they've also got the their lab on scene uh, as they will in, begin the investigation. 
and um, they got something out of the trunk here. But uh, what's coming up next is kind of interesting because um, you, they went over to a neighbor's house and the start was discussing the story, and then he went and got in a police car. So obviously, there's some valuable information uh, that, that's being passed here. There you can see the sheets and and so forth uh, set up from all angles. Um, they, the police said they did that again because they, they said the body could be seen from the door. And uh, what we can tell you for certain <clears throat> at this hour, folks, if you're just joining us, is that uh, there was a call that came in to the uh, 911 center in reference to a deceased individual. This uh, call came in somewhere between 7.45 and 8 a.m. this morning. Um, a report that someone was dead at 106 Moss Street, Apartment 1. Upon further investigation, city police have confirmed that there is a deceased male individual uh, there at that residence, 106 Moss Street, Apartment 1. All right, Scott, here, here's where that interesting moment comes, where the, uh, you can see Lieutenant Cassidy. Um, I want to make sure I got his rank right there. Is that right, Scott? Uh, he captain would, Cassidy? Yes, he would be a he captain. captain now. Yes. Okay. Didn't mean to demote him there. Uh, but he, he's always so helpful with the media. Um, he, he went across the street, had conversation there with um, the gentleman, and then a gentleman without a shirt will come appearing out of here. And we don't know his involvement in the case. Um, but you can see he, he does follow the police. We don't know what kind of connection. He might have some information that could be helpful. We just don't know how, what his involvement is. But obviously, involved some way, somehow, in, in this um, ongoing investigation going on on Wall Street. Um, we're bringing this report around the noon hour. He did get in the vehicle and um, apparently continued the conversation with them. So he might have some valuable information that they need to uh, to uh, make this case come together. Certainly that is a key part along with all the physical evidence there at the scene uh, as to piecing together what did happen. Now we uh, cannot say at this point in time what the cause of death is. We can only say that it, there is a deceased individual, but one thing we would note is that with any sort of investigation into a death, it's the opposite of a fire investigation. You automatically treat it as a potential homicide initially, then you go through and you rule out any possibility that it is a homicide and you might go then to, let's say, an accidental death or a suicide or some other method, but um, particularly someone who is relatively young and in good health, for example, has no other health complications, you would start off assuming that you may in fact be dealing with a homicide and then work through the investigation from that point on. So no official determination as to the cause of death, but we can tell you a deceased individual there, 106 Moss Street, Apartment 1 in the city of Martinsville. We'll be bringing you further updates on this as soon as they become available. Stay tuned to Star News. Thank you.